I mean, I didn't have to do anything. You guys just understood what I wanted and, and got it right. So it's cool. Welcome to the star of the show. It's SEO King and founder of Growth Gorilla, Alan Silvestri. Now, let me tell you about Alan. He has a passion for all things 80s, particularly Back to the Future. He's got impressive Back to the Future tattoo sleeve and recently bought himself a DeLorean. What a legend. Alan's uh, website and his brand has quite a lot of personality. They're called Growth Gorilla. They use this, uh, this neon gorilla as their logo uh, with a little pink squiggle under keywords and this is their existing logo. So this is what we were given as uh, like their branding. Basically we, we wanted to copy the styles that have been developed in their website. And what we were sent was this presentation in Google Slides, which you can see um, needed a new template. It needed to better reflect Alan's personality and his love for Back to the Future and 80s films. So it was a really good challenge for us. So let me quickly fire up and show you some of the slides that we created. I wanted to really emulate his branding that from his website because the dark black background looked really good and his logo is, is punchy and neon. So our template itself was quite simple and we really let the content do the talking and uh, continued with his pink and green neon effect and carried that out through loads of his slides and just tried to make it clean and punchy. But this is the bit that I'm really excited to show to you. Part of his uh, slide dividers are Back to the Future DeLorean shots with his Gorilla branding and uh, yeah, neon color scheme. And then we further developed an 80s film themed slide divider. So we got some from E.T. there, my favorite cocktail, uh, a few others that you'll recognize, Ghostbusters and, and loads of different 80s films as slide dividers. And we just thought that this was not only a really good representation of him and his brand, but also it's like a really interesting talking point. Um, and he can customize these slide dividers depending on who he's presenting to, who he's pitching to. You know, we finished it with, um, with a couple of uh, different sign-offs as well, links to his website, all hyperlinked in PowerPoint. So uh, I, at the end of every meeting, I present back uh, the template, some of the work we've done, just kind of explain some of our designs. So coming up next is some footage from that final meeting. It was a really fun job for me to work on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Different <laughs> to my normal stuff because mm -hmm. of you, because of your personality and yeah. because of your love for all things 80s and for you mm -hmm. wanting to put that into your brand. Like for me, that is quite an unusual challenge and something that I just thought, oh yeah, I want to do this. <laughs> and I wanted to get like hands on myself and, yeah. uh, and get stuck in. So right. what you can do in PowerPoint is just very quickly do a save as. Have you ever done this? I try exporting it into a PDF. But, yeah. Uh, so you don't need to export, yeah. you just need to do a save as and then choose PDF. All right. So that is a really quick and easy way to create your documents that you can then send to people because it will massively reduce the file size, yeah, It'll yeah. embed all your fonts and, and make it very, very easy for you. So here we go. And then can you see my Zoom slide? Um, yeah, my Zoom. Yeah, yeah so I'm in, I'm in Zoom options now. So I can just, it says like, what virtual background do you want to use? And you can just click, oh, let's add an image. And then I go to my desktop and I go to your files. Mm -hmm. And then that's the folder that PowerPoint created and it put all your slides. Oh, cool. As, as uh, JPEG. So I could, you know, I could very quickly say, right, I want to present over slide five. <laughs> I have to mirror, <laughs> have to mirror it. And then you've got your slide yeah. as your virtual background. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah, I mean, you might want to do it you know, with that, I'm kind of sitting in the way of your text, so it's it's not the best slide. Yeah, you can do it. But maybe, maybe. Fun, you know, it's kind of funky. 
<laughs> and it's yeah, just so easy with PowerPoint. And because you've got all your templates styled, it's like really quick and easy. And you can yeah. produce a version of your presentation. Like let's say you're, you know, you're moving into video presentations or, or uh, online presentations. You could actually produce a version where you, know, you move all your content kind of into yeah. uh, this zone. Yeah. <laughs> And then you've got all your branding and your branding is so distinctive and it's such fun. I just think it'd be really cool. Like it'd be memorable. I'm going to upload your presentation. I'm going to go for the uh, process one. So yeah, what it now allows oh, me yeah. to do is resize myself. Mm. Nice. <laughs> And then, you know, you can choose the size that you want to be. And most people, when I say this to them, they go, yeah, I want to be small. I want to be small <laughs> on my own screen. Yeah. I don't want to be too big. And now, can you see, I don't know if you get to see this here. I don't think you do, but what, what I'm looking at, it says slides one of 25. So I now have your entire deck. And just with one uh -huh. quick click, I can go through the entire deck. Yeah, I'm basically seeing the slides on the, on the big screen and on the small screen, it's your face with the background slide. Yeah. So it hides the it hides the next button to you guys. Uh -huh. but I know that I've got twenty five slides in this deck that I can flip yeah. through. Mm -hmm. Ah, so classic example. I want to group that as one object. Mm -hmm. I have this already set up, and this is called your quick access toolbar. So there's certain things that I do loads, and one of them is grouping and ungrouping. I think if you've used any other kind of like desktop publishing or illustrator or anything like that, you know about grouping. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Big objects into one, but mm -hmm. you can put them put them all here. So if I was to put these like out of alignment, right? And I, I quickly want them aligned. I'd say right, align them in the middle, and then I'd put mm -hmm. this one here, and then I put this one here. But I know that they're not perfectly aligned. I'd say right now, align them, distribute them vertically, so it just puts equal space in. And yeah. you get to that toolbar with this little menu here. Okay. And it's called Quick Access Toolbar. And what I do is I customize it with all the things that are really useful PowerPoint commands okay. hidden quite far into the menus. So if you become like a power user, you need to group, you need to align. Um, yeah. the, other, the other ones I use are uh, setting transparent backgrounds. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, because right now uh, I don't have any of those in my in my toolbar, so okay. those need. So time for me to stop sharing, and then you share yours. Let's have a quick uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, these. That's okay. Yeah. That means yours just hasn't been set up. So you hit that drop down menu, mm -hmm. and then you go to um, more commands, mm -hmm. and there you go. Now. These are the these are what it calls the popular commands. Like bring to the front and send to the back are really useful. So if you click bring to the front, this yeah, and then send it. that's it. And then send to the back. I think was higher up the top, wasn't it? Oh no, yeah. it's further down. Is it? Is it now vertical? Send to send the, to the back. back. Yeah, that's a really good one. Yeah. So that just allows you to. I'm sure you know. Use your layers a lot. Oh quick. yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. the, the one that says uh, line objects. This one, yeah. Because yeah. that. So what does so what does this do? Yeah, and then if you if you save that, if you uh, save that, and now go back to your let's have a quick look back to your toolbar. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. So those will be highlighted when it's relevant, like when, okay. when you've got objects to bring to the front or to send to the back, that will come up. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. when you when you need to align now, if you click on that alignment, that last button that you that you added, it will give yeah. you all of the options. Oh, right. Yeah. Cool. So that's a pretty useful quick access toolbar. Uh -huh. tip. Um, on, on this shape fill, these are your template colors. These are your correct <laughs> colors that have been embedded. So these are the ones to use. Underneath it automatically gives you tints of these, but you'll start to dilute the powerful uh, branding if you use mm -hmm. too many tints. I recommend that you just use your theme colors, which is this top line. Yeah. Wait to see you present him with some of these uh, slide dividers. I'd love to see you at a DC <laughs> event and people yeah. are like, what? He's got Back to the Future on his PowerPoints. And I'll be like, yes, mate. Yeah. <laughs> That's really cool, yeah. yeah. I love these. 
cool. Good stuff. All right. But, yeah. Well, mate, it's been a pleasure. It's been an absolute yeah, pleasure to, to work with you. You're a really sweet client, and it was quite nice to go backwards and forwards on video as well, and then to finally yeah, chat. Yeah. So, yeah, man, if there's anything yeah, I mean, you ever need... Just... Yeah, I mean, it's been great. As I said, it's been probably the effort, like the most effortless experience that I've ever had. I mean, I didn't have to do anything. You guys just understood what I wanted and and got it right. So it's cool. Thanks. It's man. really cool.